Uh, hello, mga anak. Okay, again, this is your Tate Brian. Okay, so, uh, owner of Eastern West. So, we'll be discussing now. Hello. Okay, so most of you are present already. So, uh, for now, we will be discussing. Uh, let me just adjust the light. Okay. Okay. Ah, this is better. Hello, Chris. How are you doing today? Okay. Um, actually, Kanina, I made them to make a script. Uh, I made them to make uh, a mock -up. And so far, um, gauging wise, 90% passers. So, maganda naman yung result at what they did. Hi, Chris Platero. Okay. So, uh, for now, we'll be discussing about mock calls. Uh, actually, I'll be discussing three types of mock call. The first mock call would be um, the foundation. The foundation for you to be able to pass. Okay. The second one is company A. And the third one will be company B. So, the reason for that is... Kesa uh, pasikot sikot siya, okay, going around the bush, we have to go straight to the point, okay? So, we, when it comes to the topic. Uh, for people that does not have any cancer experience, this, uh, this topic is for those people that has cancer experience and no cancer experience. So, the reason for making this video is for you to be able to pass. Kailangan po pumasa kayo sa process. And normally, this will be the last process of any companies, okay? Company A or Company B, um, any of the companies... This is very vital, the mock call, okay? Hello, shout out Kuro, okay, Jana, and okay. So, just to read some of them. This Kadul, at this Ka, this Kula, the Tabeli, okay, uh, from other countries, <laughs> okay? So, basically, they are also for the, from the Philippines. So, uh, what happens right now is, again, go, going back, uh, we'll be discussing about the mock call. Again, uh, for all mock calls, all Marcos or all, all companies, this will be the last process that they have. Okay? So, everything starts with, when you say Marco, uh, it simply means that it's, uh, you are being, um, the you as the applicant is the customer, is the um, uh, customer agent. And of course, the customer, your customer will be the, your customer will be the, cost, your uh, customer or the interviewer will be the applicant, uh, the uh the customer itself, okay. So that will be hap That will happen, okay. So me, example me. I am the customer. I'm the customer agent. So if I'm the customer agent, I I'm also the applicant, okay. So you have to be able to answer the questions. But how can you be able to answer questions if you have problems or you are not familiar with mock calls? So this is very particular. And for those people that has customer experience. The normal problem is it depends on their account. Depending on the account. Nila. Some of them, example me, I became uh, I became a customer agent way, way back. Okay, that was decades ago. So if I will be refreshing my, my memory when it comes to that, um, most of the, the accounts that I handle are financial account. But if I will be handling a technical account, so that will be a problem for me. So you have to be guided. So this is again for those people that has customer experience and no customer experience. So I'll be discussing the first one, which is the foundation. The foundation of all all cost um all mock costs. Okay, number one. First part. Make sure that you have reviewed the process before proceeding. Okay, so you have to check. Don't memorize the process, just understand the process. Okay. Number two, you may use a calculator pen and paper or mobile phone to resolve the issue it depends okay so again guys the mock call that will be done is over the phone interview so it will not be face-to-face -face interview so what happens if it's face-to-face -face interview it's 80 percent 20 percent 80 percent okay 80 percent for 80 percent will come from um, your speech how you talk how you deliver 20 percent will come from how you deliver how your um, your personality, um, some something visual. So again, eighty percent will come from your communication skills. Twenty percent, or sometimes 20, 20, 30, or forty percent will come from your personality because it's a face to face. But since all of the process is not face to face, it's over the phone. So hundred uh, percent, you have to you have to use your voice, your tone of voice. Okay. So later, I'll give you some... Hello, okay. So they're having their attendance right now. That's a batch 878. So I also do uh, training as well. So 
let's go now. And uh, third to call will start after the beat. Okay, it's ring ring. Okay, so when you say mock call, uh, it's inbound. So what we're going to discuss here is inbound. There are two types of uh, types of calls: inbound, outbound. Inbound, you're accepting the call. Outbound, you're calling the person. So out, then inbound in. Okay, so let's go now for the step one. So you have to know the greeting. Okay, so since ring ring. Okay, example, it's a mock call. Ring ring. Thank you for calling East and West. My name is Brian Hernandez. How can I help you today? Okay. So when you try to deliver that, you can't deliver it in a monotonous tone. Example. Thank you for calling East and West. My name is Brian Hernandez. How may I help you today? You cannot deliver like that. Okay. Kailangan alam mo kung saan ka lalakas, saan ka hina. You know where to focus. Okay. So be careful with that. Okay. So mga anak, be careful with that. The first thing that you have to do is you know where to use your voice. San ka lalakas? What particular words that you want to stress or give emphasis to? Number one. Example. Thank you for calling. So you observe. Okay, you observe. The first one. Step one. Greeting. Thank you for calling East and West. My name is Brian Hernandez. How can I help you today? Again. Okay, focus on this. Where did I give stress? Thank you for calling East and West. My name is Brian Hernandez. How may I help you today? Do you get what I mean? Okay. So when you try to, you let the person under, uh, you let the person listen to what the person wants to hear. Number one, what does the person wants to hear? Okay. Thank you. Okay. The first thing that the person wants to hear is the company. Okay, so am I calling the right company? Okay, so thank you for calling East and West. Oh, so this is right company. So you focus on the name of the company. Thank you for calling East and West. Okay, so be careful with the syllables. Okay, you can pronounce. You cannot pronounce it like East and West. No, so you pronounce it as like East and West. Clear. So you have to pronounce it properly because they will know if they are calling the right company. Number two. My name is, you pronounce your name, first name, last name, okay? So my name is Brian Hernandez. You don't see Brian Hernandez, no. So it will be mumbling, okay? So you have to pronounce it properly. My name is Brian Hernandez. So for the, pers for the person on the other line, the per their, your caller, to understand who you are, who is the person talking to. Then the last, help. How may I help you today? Because they call you, they call you for the reason. They want to be helped. Remember, we are customer service, okay? So we have to give what the customer needs. So we are to satisfy the customer need. Okay, again, number one, greeting. Thank you for calling East and West. My name is Brian Hernandez. How may I help you today? So always have a smile. The person might not see you. But the person knows if you're smiling or not. So open your mouth and pronounce the words properly. It's different when you don't smile. Example. Thank you for calling East and West. My name is Brian Hernandez. How may I help you today? It sounds different. Okay. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. So be careful. Okay. So you have to open your mouth and smile. Okay. Example. Again. Thank you for calling East and West. My name is Brian Hernandez. How may help you today so here you have to smile all smiles big smile okay so hindi na bumubuka yung bibig you have to make it open as in bunga nga you have to open more of the mouth okay for you to be to be more understood by the person on the other line so that's number one okay okay thank you for the love sign okay press it okay some of them are still giving their attendance okay number two so Okay, so I'm very sorry. Um, I have this problem with my nails, okay? Actually, I'm not really feeling well. Uh, but because I want to be professional with you guys. Guys, ganun trabaho ng Costa Egypt. Even if you are not feeling well, you have to be professional. That's one of the things that um, the Costa taught me, okay? Be professional at all times. Um, if you're not professional, you're not for the Costa industry. Kahit may sakit ka, you have to go to work, okay? That's being professional. But the perks, wow, 
Okay, mabilis ang promotion, high salary, and if ever you want to transfer to another company, it will be better salary. Okay? So, pangalagaan niya siya. Okay, customer is the best work in the world. Okay? Siguro, for now, isa sa hindi na effect to have for now is customer. So, focus on this. Okay? So, bear with me. Okay? Alright. Number two. Assure. So, step two. You have to assure the person that you are going to help the person, okay? So, help. Yes, help is different from assuring. So, you have, the person should know that you want the person to be helped. Okay, what are the words that you have to use? There are three types of words. I'll be glad to help you with that. I'll be glad to help you with that. Don't you worry, sir. I'll be glad to help you with that. Again, you haven't confirmed the name of the person. Anyone can call you. Billions of people can call you. So you don't know who are who's calling you. So you can use either any of that, any of them. Okay, just don't use all of them. Okay. So I'll be glad to help you with that. Okay, I'll be glad to help you with that, sir. Okay, or ma'am. I can certainly check it out for you. Third one, I'll do my best to have your concern resolved. Okay. So assure is a word given to a given to your customer because normally they have a problem. So you have to assure them that you are not just going to help them, but you're assuring you are going to give them what they need and you are going to solve their problem, okay? That is the help that they need, they intend to need, okay? So, uh, third one. So, again, for the first one and the second one, you don't know your color, okay? You don't know your color. So, for the third one, it's verified. The first one is greeting. The second one is assure, assuring the person. Okay, but for me, the best, okay, before we go to the next topic, for me, the best would be, ooh, I'll be glad to check, uh, I'll be glad to help you with that, sir. I'll be glad to help you with that, sir. And you have to have a genuine understanding, open the smile for the person to understand, okay? Even over the phone, okay, the person knows if you're smiling or not. It's different, okay? Number two, I thank you very much, Miss V. Uh, but I can, we can stop this, okay? Um, pagtulong, eh, hindi pa din tum tumigil, okay? Sabi ko nga, politiko, pero hin gumagawa. Hindi politiko, pero gumagawa na pagbabago. Oo, oh, diba? <laughs> okay, so we're just here to help, okay? Ang um, tinutulungan ko naman kasi mga bagong bayani. So, all customer agents are new heroes, okay? We are the new heroes right now. Um, hindi tayo frontliners. We are now, we are onliners, okay? We are helping also the economy of the country. So far, it's the most important economy in our customers. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. Just bear with me, guys. Third one. Verify. So, since it's inbound, you don't know the person that called you, so you have to confirm who is the person calling you. Especially if you're going to handle a financial account, you cannot give just any information to the person. Like example. So, what will you ask from the person? Number one, that you'll be asking for the person. Name of the person, okay? So, how do you do it? Um, sir, may I have your first and last name? Oh, I don't want to give my first and last name. Sir, for me to help you on this. So, if you're not going to give me your information, I will not be able to help and check on your account. Is that okay with you? Okay, you always have a smile. Okay, and also be persuasive. You have to get what you want. Okay, so for this account, you have to get the name of the person. Okay, okay, yeah, my name is um, Brian, Brian Hernandez. Okay, um, sir, mind you, uh, is it a junior or a senior? Remember, guys, there's a junior, or there's a senior, first, second, or third. So you have to know the extension of the name of the person. Okay, number two. Okay, um, may you have your account or card number? Okay, so yeah, five four six six one six one zero two four four five seven seven nine seven. Okay, so again, it's five four six six one six one zero two four four five. So you have to repeat the information by the person. Okay, is that correct? Okay, per, uh, very. Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay, you have to confirm if the given information is correct. Okay, but it depends, guys. Um, sometimes because of the interview, sometimes it's not going to be asked anymore of you. So you don't have to memorize it anymore. Yeah, I got it, sir. Um, yes, sir. Thank you very much for that. Okay. So that will be the normal process. But in reality, guys, you have to know the information. So you have to have good listening skills. Third information that you have to get from the person. Phone first or card number, you have to verify that. Already verify that. Oh, 
Uh, I forgot. Um, can you check it for me, uh, sir? Um, for security reason, we cannot do that for you. Uh, we have to confirm if you are uh, if you are the real call card holder. We're not doubting you, but this is for your security, guys. Americano gusto nila Frank. Gusto nila totoo. Mas ayon nila kung sinungaling kayo. And when you see that, this is for your security. Rather than be mad at you, don't be happy, okay? Because your account is secured with your company, okay? Because at Isanos, it's secured, okay? So third one, phone number. So, uh, may I have... Oh, guys, again, uh, I have this attitude of saying so, okay? Be careful with that. Um, because so is very rude, okay? So try to correct that. Um, for me, I'm just saying so. So, so, yeah, that's bad, okay? So don't do so and don't use... Okay! Okay, so, so, okay, no, don't do that. Okay, um, Mr. Smith, okay, or Mr. Hernandez, so address the middle last name. Okay, present, Wendy, okay, Jericho, Ella, Miss Ivica. Okay, so phone, phone number is 518-265, okay, so the phone number will also be given, so you have to confirm also the number. There's no problem, if there's a change of the phone number, you can just, um, sir, uh, or Mr. Hernandez, is this your new number? Do you want me to update this? This can be updated. Okay. Third address. So 67489, California. So basically, Dallas, Texas, 75177. So basically, this information can also be changed. You can change it in the system. Not, just not the first name and the last name, the extension name, and not the account number. Of course not. You, you cannot give any information about that. Okay. So, uh, reminder. You have to repeat the information if clarification is needed. E okay, so follow instruction. Okay, so be careful. Ah, ito tinuri tatay Brian. Dapat to follow ko, no. Um, I'm just giving you a format. Okay, so if what they need, the recruiter wants from you, you just have to follow. Clear? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, only repeat the information if clarification is needed. So, you don't have to repeat the information anymore. But for me, if it's clarified, but if it's Told if you did, if there's the rule, you just have to follow. Okay, so resolve. Guys, the fourth one will be. Uh, is it hard? No, actually no. You just have to analyze. Analyze everything. Okay, so you have to analyze everything that's written in the information. Hmm. So I'm seeing the account information. I'm checking the due date of the person. I'm checking the credit limit of the person. Okay, uh, the date the person should pay, hmm. the limit, and what type of um, account the person has. So those are the... Ah, okay, oh, I'm also seeing transaction right here. I'm also seeing... So guys, be careful with this. So you have to know and you have to analyze it. Okay, so have to key, have keen sense of observing how you are going to do it and how you'll be able to pronounce it. Okay, so... If it's a dollar, guys, remember, if you're in the U.S., you can see, see, peso, peso, peso. No, it's dollar. Okay, so it's dollar. Okay, example. Your credit limit is 5,000 pesos. You can see that. Your credit limit is $5,000. Okay? So, uh, guys, when it comes to transaction, it depends on what accounts that you will be profiled to. Okay? So, uh, okay, be aware what am I reading right now? Okay, so your due date, due date. You don't say due date, it's due date. Due date, okay. D-U, D-U, okay. D-U-E, but it sounds like D-U, okay. Balance, and how you pronounce words. Um, I'll teach you, I'll try to help you out on this as well. When you are going to read figures, example, five $5,137.65. $5, you don't see dot, okay, example. $5,137.65. There's no dot. Okay, and 65 cents. And you can't pronounce it as centavos. Okay, centavos is not English. Centavos is Spanish. Okay, cents. And there's no dot, dot, or point. It's in. Again, $5,137.65 is your balance. Okay, clear on that? Okay. So, step five. So, basically, you give um, freebies to the person. Um, you give offers. Offers are those, since you're one of our valid credit card holders, you have this offer. Okay, In the U.S., they offer phones. They offer phones. 
they offer plans, they offer um, insurance, they also offer discount in virtual reality TV, they also offer um, auto payment, okay? So it depends on what is offered, okay? So you have to be keen. You can offer all, so you have to follow always instruction, okay? If you are instructed, just give one, you only give one. You give, don't give all, okay? You're just giving the benefit to the company, but remember, you're working for the company, and if you're working for the company, there should be benefit that's given to the company, okay? Uh, okay, so last, this is very tricky. Uh, step six, recap. When you say recap, um, so for a quick recap, your problem is, so you just fill, fill, fill out the blank. Okay. Your problem is, okay, you can't use your credit card. Okay, and I was able to resolve it by means of. You see the problem with the person, Okay, but you don't go back to the whole information. No, it's just a quick recap. So, um, Mr. Hernandez, your problem, your concern is, okay, and I was able to resolve it by means of, okay, so that's how you, that's how you do the recap. Okay, and last one, end. If there's an opening, there should be a closing. Will there be anything else I can assist you with? This is what you call end. Will there, will there be anything else I can assist you with? Okay, none. Okay. Always ask for the response of the person. Thank you for calling and have a great day. So that's how you do the mock call. It can, this a mock call is for um, a credit card account. So this is, will be different. So later, I'll be trying to handle some accounts that can be asked of you. Example, uh, late delivery, how you'll be able to handle that. But I have to go for the foundation first. Again. So they have a recap. Okay, the first one, greeting. Step one is greeting. You have to greet the person. Okay, thank you for calling. Name of the company. Name of you, your name, and how to help you. Okay, number two. Step two is assure. You have to use words, okay, of assuring the person that you will help the person. You can choose any of the three, okay? I told you that a while ago. For me, the best will be, I'll be glad to help you with that, sir. Okay. Third, or, or ma'am, third, step three is verify. You have to verify the person. If the person is, you have to know if the per, you are talking to the right, uh, if the person is the card holder. Before you give any information, you have to confirm it first. So give all of the information, name, account number, phone number, address, any, any valid information that is intended that you have to ask. Four, resolve. Resolve the issue of the caller, okay? There are questions. Very careful, guys. Um, for resolve, this will be the body of your conversation. Aside from, you have to give the res solution to the problem. Give solution to the problem. What is important is, uh, you have to ask question. This is what you call probe. P, R, O, B, E, probe. So when say probe, you have to know how to ask questions. A consular agent is number one. Good in speech. Fluent in English. Okay. Number two, you have to be good in listening skill. Listening. And third, you have to be good in asking questions. Um, I don't know if I can quote this. So what can we hear about that? No. Okay. So I didn't say any particular brand. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm not endorsing any brand here. So that's how you do it. You have to ask questions. Fifth, give the offer. Okay, if you offer to the person, just one. Six, recap. For a quick recap, so you state the name of the problem of the person and how you will be how you able to resolve it. And the last one, end. Will there be anything else I can assist you in? Oh my God, sana wala na siya <laughs> None. Okay, good. Thank you for calling. They have a great day. Understood? Okay, so that will be the foundation of all mock calls. So just follow that, okay? It might not be always the same, but as long as you know the foundation, it will be easy for you to deliver any any transactions. Uh, normally, the, when you're given a script, not everything is given to you. Uh, you have to do this, you have to do this. That's why I'm teaching you the foundation. For you to have something to lay on, 
Okay, something to hold on or something to understand. Again, never memorize what I told you, the foundation. Just understand it. That's it. Okay? So, number one. So, okay. Really hard this time. Okay? So, let's go for the... Okay. So, let's go for the call opening. Okay? So, there are going to be concerns. Okay? So, this is company E. Uh, for company A, again, uh, you have to download Zoom. Okay, so what we what will happen is we encode your names. Okay, afterwards, it will be forwarded to the recruiter. Then afterwards, I'll be texting you. Actually, I'm the one personally texting. Uh, my staff is texting, texting you using my phone. So if you got that message, so simply means that you have a direct connection with me. Aside from the East and West site or whatsoever, we can help you out. Okay, so, so be careful with this. Um, you have to first, actually when you're given this, you're just giving a call opening, okay? Call opening, so understand and solve the issue. Concern, query, number two, hold procedure if applicable. Third, anything else I may help, help you with. So fourth, closing. So for company A, this is work from home. So you have to follow the foundation. Actually, it's all connected. So see, if you're just given this, it will be hard for you via Zoom to be able to understand it. But since I already gave you the foundation, you have something, you already know what will happen. Okay, so you are, you will not have any problems anymore because you have, you have been founded. Okay, you are not going to, no, what will I'm going to do? What will ha understand? So what do I do here? I don't have a cost experience. Hold procedure. Okay, what will I hold? See? Now, because you have the foundation, you understood. Okay? Uh, understood. So that's what you're going to do. Uh, basically, what happens here, um, you are going to be asked scenarios, example. Okay. Um, for now, I will be ordering at McDonald's. Okay, so, ah, okay, McDonald's. So, so this will happen. Ah, thank you for calling McDonald's. This is Brian Hernandez. How may I help you today? So, so, now you have the foundation, so you can do it. Yeah, I have a problem with you. My problem is uh, the delivery. It's late for uh, five hours, and we're, we're, we're going to die here of hunger. I'm very sorry for that, but don't but be sweet for a while. I'll check on our system. Okay. So check in our system. So ah sir, I'm very sorry for that. But don't worry, sir. I'm very sorry for what happened. But I'll do my best to have your concern resolved. But before anything else, we have your first and last name. See? So you can use the foundation. You can use the script that I taught you for the foundation using this. Clear? So it will be easier for you to do to do it. Understand? Okay. So you hold the procedure. If applicable, and the else I may help up you with and the closing. So basically, everything I taught you already for the foundation. So if there will be problem, example, there will be problem for uh, late delivery. So you will have the concerns. You will be able to understand the concerns. So direct to the point. If there's a problem, you consult your um, you consult your uh, superior, superior, but you can see that. So that's how you be able to use the call. Understand? So that's how you do the mock call. So go back to the foundation that I gave you. So everything is already given that. So company B, okay, this is, will be one of the hardest. Okay, oh, for company A, uh, before we go to company B, company A is you have to download Zoom. Okay, so you will be, I'll be texting you. Then afterwards, um, if if there's no text whatsoever, contact me. Okay, direct the message to me. Via text, better via messenger, or via uh, our east and west messenger. Okay, that will be the the best. Because what will happen? I'll just copy your message. Okay, yes, enough. I'll ch I'll prior you on this. Okay, that's my script. Okay, then I'll be sending it to a prior batch. Then they will be prioritizing you. So kailangan makulat. Understand? Uh, two to three days. Wala pang call confirm. Okay, so para hindi po matabo na ng papers natin. So that's what we're going to do. And what that's what you're going to do. So if they process na, be careful guys. They will give you, uh, they will give you, what call this? They will give you an, uh, a meeting ID. 
Okay, so that's what happens to Zoom. So you have to download Zoom, number one. Number two, do you have to have connection? Okay, and third one, when there's a Zoom meeting, you have to follow the Zoom meeting, okay? If you're not going to follow, uh, basically for one, twice, thrice, they're trying to call you. But if not, oh, they're trying to call you, text you for the meeting ID. But if you're not going to participate with that, it will be declined, okay? So be careful with that. So you have to always be ready. Okay, so now let's discuss um, Company B, okay? So, okay, for Company B, this will be the S process, okay? So you have to have a desktop, number one, or laptop. Number two, headset with mic. Third, a stable connection, at least 10 Mbps, because this will be for examination, okay? Examination that you are going to do it, okay? So via, uh, because you will see it, can you use, okay, for this one, can you use a phone? Okay, actually I haven't tried this, using the phone. But this will be the requirement. Uh, but basically, you have to have a stable connection for it to be processed, okay? Oh, okay, no, 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 I'm very sorry. Uh, this will be for ah, the only exam. Okay, so basically, Viber will do, or uh, Zoom, yeah, normally some mock interview. So when I was mocked interview, what would, what did what did I what application did I? F yeah, if I can remember, it, this is over the phone, phone interview, that's for the for for the mock up. But I have a computer. Yes, I'm I'm multitasking. Okay, there was a link that was sent to me, company B. There was a link sent to me. Then afterwards, you have you have thirty minutes to check okay how you do the procedure and there will also be a script given to you okay the same script that we had but the only difference is it has difference okay the opening um identification okay you have to resolve also the problem and the closing it's the same as thing as well okay so you have to understand the foundation so opening okay so thank you for calling east and west after there's a meeting of the client, take ownership, take time, reassure the customer. Yeah, basically it's the same. So you go back to what I taught you, okay? So connection. Um, that This will happen. While you're talking over the phone, okay, over the phone, at least you have a laptop because you have to um, troubleshoot what's happening, okay? How, is it hard for me, communication skills, no. What is hard for me is the technical skill because I was never a TSR, okay? I'm a customer service representative. I do inbound and I also work for outbound as well. So, but it will be my first time. But good for me, it was challenging. And the person on the other line, the interviewer is so nice. He's, she's, she and he is the account handler, okay? They're very nice. Thank you. Yes. Hopefully I get well soon. Okay. But there's no time to be sick. Okay. <laughs> so, pag customer agent ka, uh, isa kang immortal. <laughs> okay. So, always remember that. Okay. You will know that. Okay. And for, so for some that has customer experience, okay, you know that. Okay. So, you will be given a link. Okay. So, you have a laptop. Okay. So, you have phone. Okay. So, you have time. Normally, what happens is, uh, there are different for me what happened it's you have to troubleshoot for a Wi-Fi connection so you have a phone I have a phone like I have a phone and but don't you worry before mag undergo doon sasabihin niya sa'yo ito, ito tatanong ko uh, ito mo itatanong ko you have to be ready on this okay gato so the person will coach you already what will happen so at least you are ready Pero ang pinaka-importante, huwag ka kakamahan. Okay? The, the more that you are going to be nervous, the more that you cannot perform. Wala na lahat. So, just be, just be focused on this. Okay? And if you can hear the person on the other line, okay, ask, Sir, ma'am, I have a problem. I cannot understand what you're saying. Can you please repeat the information, please? Okay. Always have a smile. Kasi baka lumabas rude siya. No. So, nagiging different siya kapag nakagiti ka when you're smiling. Oh, ma'am, uh, I can't hear you. Can you please uh, repeat the information? Oh, pardon? No. Can you please repeat the information for me? Thank you very much. Okay. So, basically, it's troubleshooting a Wi-Fi. 
weak connection. Okay, so sasabi na ba yez? So you still have time to Google. Okay, so yun ang ginawa ko. Ah, so this will be asked of you. Okay, so Google, buti lang we have good good connection. Like what the person told me. Okay, uh, like how Heller told me. So I Google it. Okay, so yeah, I'm not very particular with this. Asin gumawa talaga ako ng script. Literally, I made a script. Okay, so it's still here. Okay, that I have. So um, troubleshoot or for Wi-Fi, try to connect, connect the Wi-Fi network with another device like a laptop or computer or a friend's phone. If the other device can you, you can use the network, the problem is most likely with your phone. Okay, if it's network, so check whether your phone has to connect with the Wi-Fi. Okay, so if it's weak Wi-Fi, this is how you check it. Okay, so this or given. So actually, sa sabi na bago sa yung kono kilangan niya, and you have time to. Uh, get it. So, when you have it already, oh, so what will you do is you analyze. You don't have to memorize it. Maluluko ka lang if you try to memorize it. Understand. A consular agent knows how to analyze and good in analyzing. Okay. So, questions that can be asked. Yo, sabi nga sa akin. Okay. Is your phone a firmware or software? Updated? Is it updated? Okay. Has your phone fell or was damaged previously? So, magtatano ka na naman. So, if you remember, sabi ko kanina the foundation, sabi ko, you have to ask question. For you to resolve a problem, you have to ask question. If you don't ask questions, what will happen? You will not resolve anything. Okay, understood? Okay. So, how to access Wi-Fi? Okay, how to access Wi-Fi? So yeah, literally what I did is step by step process. So the person technically is not good. So the person will pretend that he or she is not good in computers. Or for this scenario, it's a phone. Okay, and for me, like me, I seldom use my iPhone. Okay, so I don't know the application. I'm not very techy. So what I did is I tried to learn from it. Number one, how to access Wi-Fi. Tap on the home button to proceed to the application app the application menu. Afterwards, are you okay with that? Are you done? Okay, good. So after that, you click the setting application. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Remember, it's a conversation. Okay. Third. Okay. Next. Uh, below you will see an airplane mode option. It's the Wi-Fi setting. Click on it. Okay. Done. Okay. So the eye icon on the right side. Of the Wi-Fi network being used, guys, ganon talaga when you talk to Americans, as a specific step by step information. Hindi po pa like this, like that. No, as Filipinos normally, that's a new remote. Oh, so usulang alam na kagat ko saan. For Americans, guys, you have to give a very detailed information. Okay, if you want to become a consular agent, guys. When you try to explain yourself, kila ta detail step by step on how you get to the procedure. Okay, so that's how you became a good customer service representative. So, then afterwards, how to access cellular data? Example, tap on the home button. Okay, to proceed to the application menu, click the settings application. Then afterwards, below are are you done with that? Okay, good. So below the is a Bluetooth option. It's a cellular, uh, cellular that you will see. Try to click on it. Good. Okay. So yeah, I have a problem with my battery. It's not working. I don't know what's happening to it. Okay. So can you check? Can you help me on this? Yes. Uh, I can certainly help you with that. So tap the button to proceed to application menu. Are you done with that? Okay. Afterwards, click the setting application below. It's the emergency SOS. It's the battery. So try to click on it. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. You're so nice. Yeah, <laughs> actually, it's, ma'am. Don't you worry. This is all right. Okay, and we are here and we're very much happy to serve you. Okay, to help you. So, do you have any more questions? Yeah, I'm. Very, I'm very sorry. I have lots of questions. Okay, no problem with that, ma'am. We'll be able to help you on this. Okay, so ma'am, uh, how to access the storage? So this. Will... Yeah. Get tap. tap the home button. Okay, to proceed to the application menu. Afterwards, okay, click the setting application. Are you done with that? 
Then click the general icon in the middle of the your screen. You will see the iPhone storage. From then, you can just apply it afterwards. Okay? So, guys, uh, just don't be scared. Um, just fo follow the process. Um, uh, and don't be nervous, okay? So, for this account, this is for people, the company B, or those that has customer experience already. Okay? So, you don't have to worry. Um, the first one, which is the company A, is for the newbie. Okay? Zero experience, as in newbie. Okay? They call it a call center. Yeah. I don't, not allowed to say that. Okay? But they call it call, call center virgin. Okay? So, no experience in the call center industry. From zero to 10 years to 15 years to 20 years of customer experience. Okay? So, newbie. So, company A. Uh, and call center experience as well. That prefer work from home account. And for the company B, uh, those that prefer that those that has cost experience already, okay. So it's a different account. So it's a thirty k niche account. So do you have any more questions? Hello. <laughs> okay. So if you're have any more questions, um, how will you make it? Okay. So for people that does not have cost or experience, how will you be? How you will you practice? Okay. Uh, actually, we give some. Um, Tips. We also give some scripts that you guys just have to fill out. Okay, so hi interview one by yes. Uh, Zoom is Zoom for one on one interview. And that for me, I was interviewed one by one, one on one. But I know if it's Zoom, some it's mostly it's a group. Okay, you are in group, as if it's a panel interview. So if you're asking me, it's a Zoom one on one interview. It's a yes, and it's also a no. Okay, it depends. It can be a one-on-one -on -one interview or it can be a group or a panel interview. So just be prepared for that. Have a strong connection and there should be no dogs barking in your background. So you have to check your background first. Okay, you have to be in a room. This is my room. Okay, and this is my pet. Okay, Grisby. Okay, so you have to be in your quiet place. Okay, in your room. So... There's no disturbance, and you have to have a clear connection on this. So, do you have any more questions on this? Oh, one-on-one -on -one interview. Yeah, this is for one-on-one -on -one interview. Okay, what else? Um, for you to practice, how you practice over the phone interview. So, basically, the best thing is you might be conscious as well because it's not over the phone. So, the person can see you on the other line, okay? So, you have to be aware, aware that the person is... Uh, looking at you, so don't be conscious, okay? Um, how not to be conscious? Isipin mo na ikaw pinakamaganda tao sa balat ng lupa. <laughs> so normally, that's what I told, tell my students. Kasi bisan, they have a problem when it comes to insecurity. So be, don't be insecure about yourself. Don't compare yourself to other people. Uh, mas maganda yung iba, mas magaling sila. Uh, love who you are because God made you for a purpose, okay? And the purpose is, we're all different. But nakakatakot naman siguro kung lahat pa ng tao pare-pareho. So, you have to love the individuality in game. The unique side of you. You might not discover it yet, okay? But, um, sooner or later, you'll discover your skills on this. Ako never could see, nakita sa nini ko, talking to a phone. <laughs> I'm not seeing anyone here. Uh, sali ako when it comes to reaction. So, for 878 batches na yung na-train kasi I'm also training one batch, which is 878, okay? I hopefully, I'm hope I'm hopeful that they are all here, okay? So, more or less, they are 100 persons, say that, okay? Medyo busy lang iba, so maybe they can watch this afterwards. So, that's how you do it. Uh, tips also for mock interviews that they can do. Okay, so when the schedule is given to you, you have to follow the schedule. Professionalism. Okay? So you have to be professional all of the time. So pag nakapasa pa sa initial, uh, zoom na po ka agad. Uh, yeah. Uh, initial, no, the first one will be, the company A will be screening. After screening, when they screening, they will confirm. Okay? They don't have your resume yet because it's just encoded, okay? Encoded information. That's why we have given you this a form. Uh, afterwards, they, they will give you, they'll text you your meeting. Uh, they will call you for screening, okay? After screening, 
they go for the next procedure. Language assessment and the zoom that you are going to take. Bisa kasi na siya. Let me check. Okay, let me check the procedure. Yeah. So basically, yeah, assessment first. They will check if you're qualified. Normally, when I'm going to the assessment, because they check lang nila high school grad, ka ba, college grad, college level. You have to prove that you have the documents. If you don't have the documents, guys, remember they will not they will not let you look at the documents. Because via phone lang naman yun eh. So, ang sa sabi mo lang, I have all of the documents. I have all the COE clearances whatsoever. So good. You can proceed. Just see yes, yes, yes. To proceed. Then afterwards, zoom. Um, ito sa akin. Pag sa zoom po ba, kailangan po pakita namin documents namin. Normally, it's not. Okay? It's not the process. Um, it's a background check. Yun. Once you pass the whole process, the background check, check, uh, background check team will be the one to help you on this. Okay? So you say na ba to check none. Not the interviewer. Not the language assessor. Okay, so uh, hopefully that's clear with all. Okay, understood? Okay, so what else? For you to be good in, uh, always do the mirror talk. Okay, face the mirror, um, talk to the mirror. You able to understand more of yourself. So mirror. Uh, talk to the mirror for you an hour, or two, three, four, five. The more that you talk to the mirror, the more that you have to converse. Para siya public speaking. Okay, so before you come to public speaking, Hindi ba nag-review ka muna over, uh, nag-review ka muna, tapos ko sabihin mo, nakatingin ka sa mirror, look at the mirror, this is how I'm going to do it. So, you'll be able to practice more kung paano mo i-deliver siya. Pero, the best thing is, always speak in English. Surround yourself with English. Uh, like me. I love movies. Movies. Um, I'm not very fond of reading books, but how many times... Do, in um no wala pa covid uh twice twice in a week or even thrice i watch movie the cinema ganun talaga that's my stress reliever because i don't have any vices ang bisyo ko lang talaga is movies any type of movies pero yung totoo lang when i'm in the movie house do i watch the, the movie uh no naka-focus din ako sa work naka-focus din ako sa mga students ko naka-focus din ako sa uh sa company okay so that's how I do it. That did lang ako to have a different scenario. Okay, a different environment. Something na ma, ma, makawala lang muna ako for the, for the meantime. Pero still, ang focus ko pa rin is work. Okay, and my students to make them perfect. Okay. Okay, what else? Um, so surround yourself with uh, English. Normally, uh, 90% I watch English movies. Okay. 10%, I watch also, ngayon medyo dumadami na, kasi there's lots of quality movies already now, uh, compared before. Now, wow, okay, ang dami quality movies. But, I prefer to watch English movies to get the culture, okay, since it's considered, I want to know their culture, how they speak, how they think, okay, because a lucky percentage of them is movies, okay. So what else? Um... Your talk, movies, surround yourself in English. Okay, what else? Um, be confident. You have to be confident to how you talk. Okay? And when you're... Oh, I'll say going back to the mirror. When you're facing the mirror, you have to talk for the mirror on R2, T, 4, or more than R's. Ito hindi ko na discuss eh. You have to take out the, Filip the, the translation of your mind from Filipino to English. Okay? People that has no cultural experience, or sometimes, kasi natanggal na to, eh. well, if you already have a cultural experience, natanggal na yung translation of Philippine to English. Sometimes you translate Filipino going to English, so it will never work that way. So kailangan you have to think in English to be able to speak in English. And matatanggal lang yun if you face the mirror and you talk to the mirror for that several times. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours. Kasi binibreak natin yung old habit. Okay? Kasi, uh... Okay, can I say this? Okay, so, minsan kasi tinuruan tayo ng uh, professor, teachers natin before, okay, that we have to translate Filipino going to English for us to deliver our speech. But it's easier. But in reality, there's no direct translation of Filipino going to English. That will be a problem. So, yun lang naging problema. A uh, big problem that we face right now. Kasi, 
uh, bago siya mag-talk, ganito kasi nangyari, when the person talks, okay, itatranslate niyo muna, yung gust- tatagalugin niyo muna, in, in the person's mind, tatagalugin muna niya, then in English yan. Am I correct? Okay, so yun na mangyari. Tagalog muna, then English. So that's happening. So, tongue twister. Oh, sige, discuss yung about tongue twister. Pwede po bang mag-practice ng tongue twister? Yes, pero kailangan tama po ang pagpa-practice ng tongue twister. Yung binigay ko ng tongue twister, yun lang po ang pwede. Okay? Because some of the tongue twister, pinabibilis ka lang. Okay, so let's go back to the topic. Okay, so what happens is, um, kapag uh, communication mo Philippine to English, kailangan ma-break mo yun. So the only thing for you to break it is number one, how? You can break it by means of, okay, breaking a habit. So, kailangan magawa mo siya for seven days or a week to break the habit. But remember, guys, we don't have time. That's why an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, babawiin natin sa quality and quantity of the time. Okay? That you speak over the phone. So, that's how you're going to do it. Okay? Para matagal yung Filipino to English translation. Para hindi siya nag... The download. Okay? Para may babagal yung internet. So, nag download yung system sa utak mo Para matagal yan. Para you're fast in when you talk. When you think. Um, pag scenario nga pag nasa office nga lagi kong ginagawa okay let, do, let them do it now. line 1, line 2 line 1, line 2 yung nakamitig sila tapos pa ikot ikot lang ah changing partners every five eh, every every minute every minute changing your partners so pibuibis yung utak nila for them to communicate with that but for you we can do it kasi bawal tayo social distancing right now so the best thing that you can do is uh, surround yourself with English read listen understand mirror talk mirror talk hindi pa niyo mawala para matagal yung Filipino translation, Filipino to English translation that you have. Number two, if it's going for tongue twister, let's go for the Melvins um, question. Tongue twister uh, practice, pwede po ba mag- Yes. Pero be careful with the tongue twister. Kasi ginagawa ni iba, pag may tongue twister, they tend to be fast. So, tongue twister are made not for you to be fast. Tongue twister are made for you to pronounce the words properly. Uh, observe ko sa, sa batch 878 all of them ang gaganda ng voice very good voice ang gaganda ng voice mostly naman na encounter ko from East and West all of them ang gaganda talaga voice wow sobrang ganda ng voice uh, so number one yan ang ganda consideration ng number one number one yan number two minsan may maririnig ka lang na mahina ang voice hindi pwede kasi mahina ang voice you have to have a loud voice you have to open your mouth you have to express yourself third confidence okay kailangan umaapaw it doesn't mean that hindi ka maganda, wala ka confidence. No. Even kung matura mo, you have to have the confidence. Okay? Um, you have to believe in yourself. So, kaya mo yan. Ako, normally, what I see to all, lalo na text ko siya, you receive 10 to 100 texts from me a day. Yes. Um, anak, kaya mo yan. Okay? Uh, yun ginagawa ko sa mga previous batches. But for now, it's very hard because we have 3,000 plus applicants, so we can't deal with that. Okay? Uh, ilang SIM card ko na the block. Ilang numbers ko na na-block. Even some of my personal numbers are blocked na. So, sabi ko sa kala, if you have any problem, any concern, just message me directly. Okay? Text ba? No. Messenger. SNS Messenger or on my own Messenger. That's what I'm going to do. That's me uh, organizing this. Kasi lahat po na recruiter ngayon, limited. All limited. So, ang kalabanan lang po natin, sino makulit, siya po ang mauna. So, B, makulit. Clear on this, okay? Pero hama nagintay naman kayo, hindi naman inep, you have to do something. You have to review. The best thing that you can review is my videos. You can review my videos, everything. Uh, I made this video para ba saan? Para ba sa... Uh, para magparami ng likes whatsoever or subscriber? The reason? No. For you to pass. Again, this is my business, okay? My business is not to monetize sa YouTube. My business is for you to pass. And this is the only way I can help you out. This is the only way I can reach all of you. Okay? Uh, sabi ng iba, yun, papasubscribe lang. Guys, and reality, we already have a group. Okay? We already have a group which has 46,000 uh, persons already. Okay? Kaya yung purpose ko, dapat yun na lang. Okay? But my purpose is for all of you to pass. That's the reason why. Okay? Uh, that will be the last time that I will be explaining myself. No. Pwede mag-explain ako <laughs> over and over again. Okay? So, what else? So, just believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself that you can do it. Uh, me. Uh, just give me... Give, I'll, be, I'll be a big example. 
I'm an orphan. Okay, wala nangyari sa buhay. Okay, I lost everything. Okay, so naglako house to house. I'm a college grad, but naglako ko house to house. Then I was trained. Okay, I was also trained. I failed in ten counselors. Una, ikalawa, ikatlo, masakit. Apat, lima, anim, napakasakit. Seven, eight, nine, wala na ako maramdaman. Okay? Ten, I was doubting myself. Ten, if ever, na hindi pa ako pumasa doon, even hundreds, I'll not stop. Because my goal is to work in the call center. And I know that I am for a call center. So, what happens? I was able to pass. Okay? Then, team leader, supervisor, patient manager, then, uh, student religious manager, um... University director and now the owner of East and West. Uh, if you can see in some of the, my videos, I was featured in Tatak Tessa Grand National Winner that treated up like 10,000 people. Manila Bulletin, uh, 20,000, more or less 30,000 persons, more or less 30,000 persons. Um, Tafil as well, okay. Tapos sa Filipino, I was also one of the recognized of them in the field, nominated for the field of education. So, uh, all of that. But aside from all of the national awards, the best award that I have is... my people. Pag yung mga tao nagkakatrabaho. So, the name of you, Fidel Palermo Ramos. He's a person with disability. Um, she, he came from... Um, he came from Cabuyo, Laguna. Okay? Isa siya sa si, story ngayon na one of the biggest cause center. Kasi hindi ko lang mapalibanggitin. Okay? Now, one of the features siya doon. Um, Nagpunta siya sa amin, hindi siya matanggap. He's discriminated by persons kasi pinay siya eh. Okay? Meron siya bakal here. Uh, sa paa. Walang tumagap sa kanya. When he approached us, before the training, sinabi niya, possible po ba matanggap ako? Kasi I have this disability. Uh, check namin. Siyempre. Uh, we accept all with disability. Uh, no. Um, hindi po po pwede... Hindi po po pwede, of course, may problema sa speech kasi it's a voice account. At hindi po pwede po may problema sa tenga because he cannot hear. Pero other disability, no problem. Uh, sa paa, no problem. Bata, if isa, may problem, isa mata may problem, no problem with that. Uh, kikamay, no problem. If he can do with or just another hand that he have, okay, there's no problem. So, wala po discrimination when it comes to the call center. At mabilis mong promotion. There's big, there's uh, a big chance of for you to be promoted. Okay? Ngayon, um, uh, some of them, may the high school grad, Kat, Nye, uh, Kat, Li, Kat Ka, Anilio, Kat Anilio. Uh, sige, bangitin ko naman. <laughs> okay? So, I'm very proud of them. Um, now, uh, she is running for supervisor. And lots of them. Siguro, for the next video that we have, is, ang success ko, hindi lang sa akin eh. So, 42,000 of them, most of them are successful already. Um, Causer agents, team leaders, supervisors, SME, manager, and meron pa akong presidente, a president in the Causer industry. So, I'm very proud. Um, it's not just my success. It's sharing the success to other people. That is real success. Kasi aanin mo kung ikaw na successful. Hindi lang pa di ikaw. So, if you share, try to share it to other people, um, mas lalago pa yung success eh. And, I was also contacted by um, the office, uh, the central office, by the office of the president, that hopefully my story will be updating my story. Okay, I don't know if it will be going for the sauna whatsoever, but just to be premiered, the uh, Manila Bulletin, na, PTV4. So, yeah, from being an orphan, okay, naglako, uh, maglalako, and now one of the owner of C, uh, CEO now of the call center industry, okay, Tate Brian, the father of the call center training of the Philippines. So, everything is not impossible. Just trust in God and believe in trabaho. Um, the thing that I can also share with you, success, there should be no reason for you to reach success. Success means no reason. Pag sinabi mo no reason, kahit pa bumabaha, bumabagyo, yeah, I can remember yung batch nila yan, si Fidel. Kahit na bumabagyo from Kabuya going sa Alaminos, pupunta talaga sila. How many hours of travel uh, would you believe the hours? Na kahit bumabaha na, they're still going. Okay? Maraming like that. Okay? Maraming po katulad nila. It's not... Basta, hindi po... Well, si Consular, hindi naman talaga siya sa galing eh. Attitude. Okay? Even magaling ka, if you don't have the attitude, it will be useless. Okay? Attitude. Communication can be learned. 
attitude cannot. Okay? Huwag naman sana may mangyari sa'yo for you to change your attitude. Like that. Okay? So, kailangan talaga walang attitude problem. Hindi ganun kalaki ulo. Wala pa nararating ganun kalaki ang ulo. Okay? No. Even if may narating ka na, there's no reason for you not uh, to to brag. No. If you can see, guys, I'm confident of myself. I may not be perfect, but I'm confident of myself. Because for me, um, my only purpose is to help people. And hopefully I can help more people. My dream is to help at least a hundred million people. Okay? Hopefully to help the whole Philippines. If not, even... Kasi kesa pumunta pa sa ibang bansa. So, if I can help each and every Filipinos, that's my purpose in life. Uh, hindi politiko, pero gagawa ng pagbabago. Okay? Again, thank you very much for watching this uh, vlog. Okay? Um, actually, hindi pa ako masanay-sanay. Okay? Because normally, I get reaction from people. Kaagad. Okay? Kasi when they're orienting them. Uh, I attended how many orientation already? Matches 872. 30 orientation kasi the other 5 batches hanggang 874 874 ba? No, 875 meron na eh 875 nag stop 873 eh 4, 874, 875, 876, 877, 878 all of them are virtual virtual training all of them okay change is coming tatay rice coming okay so um, change is in the heart of people okay so you can make change Okay, thank you very much. Uh, again, hopefully, um, guys, basta believe in yourself. Trust yourself. If there are things that happen in your life, um, God is always there, okay? Uh, I experienced that. I already experienced near-death experience, okay? I was already dead before. I was able to see Him in all His glory. And guys, He is there, okay? Hindi siya kailanman uh, nawala. Uh, akala mo wala siya. Actually, He is the father. I already lost my father. I already an orphan, pero... I still have him. Okay? So never give up. Okay? Uh, and kung hindi ka... Example, you have a problem and you can say it to your parents or whatever. Tati Brian is here. I'm here. Okay? To support you and to help you. And to give you the push na kaya mo yan. If no one, no person believes in you, no one per, no one believes in you, there's one person that, always, that o, will always believe in you. It's Tati Brian. Okay? So never give up. Understand? Success means no reason. Never give up.